Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I'm partnering with Brookfield Residential to show you how to create a secret space for your dog underneath the stairs. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thanks so much for stopping in. I am so excited to be partnering again with Brookfield Residential. I got to take a tour of their beautiful canvas townhome in the Paisley area of Edmonton. The area itself is so beautiful, it's nice and quiet, and the home itself is laid out so well. It has gorgeous big windows. The show home here has just a beautiful kitchen with a big massive island. A really cool feature in this show home is that there is an under stairs nook in the kitchen area. You might remember my first video that I did with Brookfield, we had another under stairs nook and there I did an under the stairs pantry area so that could be for food storage or for toy storage or anything. This one we wanted to create something a little bit different because there's a fantastic dog park in this area so we thought it'd be fun to create a little feature for your furry friend. Today I want to show you how I took this empty nook and created a space just for your dog. It could also be for your cat and I also made a dog bed from scratch and also a little wall organizer for your dog accessories. These builds were pretty straightforward and easy so if you know how to use a cross cut saw and a nail gun you can make these items. Let me show you how I made this under the stairs dog nook. To begin, I made a DIY dog bed and I found this cushion which measures 24 by 36 inches. And then I bought some pine, this is 1 by 6 and 1 by 3 pine and cut it to the sizes I needed. So for the bed, I cut three 37 and a half pieces, four 22 and a half pieces, and four 11 inch pieces of the one by threes. Then I used one of my favorite stains, which is Minwax Ebony, and stained all of the pieces with my favorite stain. Then I just wiped the stain off after a few minutes to make all the pieces this beautiful dark brown color. Next, I took some PL construction glue and a finishing nailing gun and I applied the glue onto the edges of the wood and then I nailed them in place. So the two short pieces attached to the long piece and then I just found some scrap pieces of wood to place in the bottom. This is just some old decking boards that we had just to stabilize the bottom of the bed and for a spot for the cushion to rest on. So for everything, I'm just using the PL construction glue, putting a bead of that on the edges of the wood, and then using the finishing nailer to nail the pieces onto the wood. So I created the box first, and then I'm adding those extra pieces on the bottom. The extra pieces on the bottom measure about 36 inches. I'll leave all my measurements in the description box below if you want to check out how long all of the pieces are for this project. Next, I nailed the one by three pieces upright like this in the corners of the bed. And this is how I'm going to attach the next long pieces here to create the higher back and sides of the bed. And again, I'm just putting a bead of the PL construction glue and using my finishing nail gun to nail the boards in place. So I do this for the back and the sides, and then I used this Varathane triple thick sealant, and I brushed this on all of the stained wood parts of this bed. And there is the completed dog bed. Next, I made this organizer. So I have three 18 inch pieces of one by six, one 16 and a half inch piece of one by three, and three six inch pieces of one by three. I'll leave those measurements in the description box below. And here's just a quick process shots of how I built this. Again, I'm using PL construction glue and nails to put everything together. Once everything is nailed in place, I just use the same sealant to seal the whole thing. Then I just placed these hanging brackets on the back of this organizer and I screwed in some of these hooks on the bottom. 
So this nook here is in the Brookfield Residential Canvas Show Home. It's in the kitchen and I'm just using some drywall screws and I hung up the organizer on this side of the nook. And then I put the doggy bed in the center and I put the doggy bed cushion right inside. These picture ledges were already in this nook, so I just decorated the picture ledge with all sorts of dog-themed artwork, a canister, and some photos. And then on the hooks on that organizer, I just hung a leash and a brush, and I also decorated with toys. I found these MDF letters at my craft store, and I'm just using these hanging strips to hang them above the nook for this nice little woof sign which I also spray painted rose gold. I found this beautiful plaid blanket at my craft store. I just love this green and blue combo. I thought it was a really cool combo with this purplish kind of paint that was already in here. Here is the before of the nook and here is the after. I think this would make a really cozy and cute space for any puppy to hang out in. I love that it faces that open kitchen in this show home and I love that it has this little organizer where everything is at hand and you can hang things, you can place things and a puppy has a perfect place to call his own. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed that and let me know in the comments below if you would try to build either of these items or both of these items and if you have a pet at home I'd love to hear if you have a dog or a cat and what their name is. We have two dogs and their names are Tippy and Riley. Thanks so much to Brookfield Residential for partnering with me on this project. If you want to learn more about this show home click on the link in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Bye guys.